Hey, Jack Squad. How everybody doing today? Hope all is well, and I hope you're making it happen for yourself. Got to make it happen for yourself, guys. Um, today, so first of all, I want to uh, thank all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the Jack Squad. Um, I want to thank everyone that participated in the live. It really makes my day. You know, being a new YouTuber, you know, you, you want people to receive you well. And so you guys give me all of that. Okay. Um, also, we did have a, uh, two winners in the giveaway. And I did contact them and I'll be sending them off tomorrow tomorrow morning and that was um Lila and Latanya Smith and Latanya uh lives here um lives here in Atlanta so I will be uh sending those off so thanks um for the 2000 subscribers and I hope to keep growing and growing and growing right um also t-shirts so the t-shirts um the t-shirts have been ordered but I have to, when I receive them, I'm going to take them to the printer to have them printed. And then I uh, will show you uh, what it looks like. And then you guys can, well, you guys can pre-order now. I'm going to have white, black, and red in small, medium, large. And I'm going to have the extra large in white. Remember that the extra large will be in, or 2X or whatever it's called, 2X will be in white. Because I know some people want to buy them for their uh, husbands or mates or whatever. So the 2X will be in white for now. <clears throat> but I will have small, medium, large. Yeah, small, medium, large in white, red, and black. And the t-shirts are $25. The pre-orders are now. You can email me. You can email me. Uh your information or um i think the way i want to do it is if you guys uh cash at me use my cash app for your t-shirt um and with your name and then i and uh well let me see how i want to do that let me see how i want to do that but i i think i want you guys to email me right email me you can email me with your information and, and then cash at me that's how we'll do that for right now um Email me with your size and your color and then cash at me after I receive the email and then you cash at me. So now again, pre-orders are now. The t-shirts are $25. They are white, red, and black and the in small, medium, large and the 2X will be in white. Okay, and they are $25. So you guys can start the pre-orders now. Um, you can um, email me with your information and then uh, cash at me, okay? So that's how we're gonna do the pre-orders. And remember that $25, y'all, make it happen for yourself. I'm going to get, um, because I've been requested by several subscribers, I will, after I see how this goes and sell all these, I will have uh, coffee mugs. And I saw some something else I wanted. I can't remember, I think it was like, fanny packs or crossover bags or something else. I saw some other items that I wanted. I just want to see how to look with that on there, right? So, and then I'm also going to, uh, when I sell these, I'm going to get some more t-shirts that's going to have Jack Squad on it, right? So right now, again, guys, it's $25 for the t-shirts. Pre-orders are now. Email me and then cash at me. Um, email me. Once I respond, then you cash at me, Okay. Uh, make sure I have your name, address, size, and color. Name, address, size, and color. And the t-shirts are $25. And before I get started, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Drop down in the description box. All of my social medias will be there as well as my email and my cash app. And if you want to donate to my channel, you can do it through the cash app. It would be greatly um, appreciated. As you know, I'm a, U a new YouTuber and I'm trying to grow my channel. And with that takes a lot of stuff, right? A lot of stuff, y'all. But anyway, um, 
Today I'm talking about, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the bell so you'll be notified. A lot of people said during the live, they didn't get notifications. Now, if you hit the bell, that's probably on YouTube. I don't know. But just hit the bell, you know, so you'll be notified. Um, today, guys, I'm going to talk about the Tasha K. Storm, Chelsea, Vaughn situation, right? Now, after, you know, and the reason why I'm talking about it because my subscribers suggested they wanted to hear my commentary on it. Um, and so I listened to Storm. I listened to Tasha. It all made sense. And I'm going to just say this before I get started. When everything has been going smoothly or all right or okay, you got to look at what factor came in. Right. And to me, before I even get started, the factor, you know, like Storm was saying, it was Chelsea was messy. It's not even Chelsea. Chelsea's a young girl. She had something to do with it. And I'll go into that later. But the the main factor, the bad apple in the bunch is Vine. Uh, when you're doing everything you're supposed to do and life is going relatively good. And then someone who comes in who doesn't have anything to lose. Watch out. Okay, so I listened to Storm, and he broke it down. And I believed, he believed what he was saying, and I believe him, right? And he explained the reason why he's distancing. You know, some people, a lot of people, most people, don't like to be in mess, don't like to be in strife. And he did something nice because Tasha asked him to. That's his friend. They're close. That's his mentor. He said, okay. Now, Chelsea is a producer for Tasha. They're all cool. It's Chelsea, <clears throat> Chelsea, Tasha, Storm. Because I was under the impression that Storm and Tasha were beefing, but they're not. It's just, they're not. So, Storm explained... Storm explained, because the reason why I was looking into this is because I thought this had something to do with the uh, Tasha K. Cardi B. court situation. But it's a totally different situation, right? And um, like I said, Chelsea works for Tasha. <clears throat> Tasha's, uh, Chelsea has a, had a, was a relationship with Vaughn. Chelsea's a young girl, 25. Vaughn was in jail. Now, let me stop right here. If you don't know, <clears throat> men in jail will tell you all the everything you want to hear. That's their job. They sell you dreams. That is what they do, right? So Chelsea being young and maybe being a little sheltered probably didn't know this, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> so whatever he was telling her, Whatever uh, he was selling, she bought it. Which is to be expected from a young lady of 25. That's to be expected. You know, that's when you make your mistakes. Now, if you're 45 and you're listening to that, okay, then we got it. It's a problem. But 25, we're going to give you a pass on that, Chelsea. But you just didn't know no better. And I hope that she learned from this, right? Because that's what life about, learning, right? And learn from your mistakes. Don't do that shit no more, right? <clears throat> well, anyway... She did something above and beyond, which I wouldn't have did, is uh, he didn't have a place to stay. And what I realized is Vaughn is the guy that uh, Latoya was messing with, had a relationship with. Now, Latoya, she has a YouTube channel called Latoya Forever, and that's how she got recognized to get on Atlanta Housewives last season. Okay? She has a lot of followers, like two million. You know, she got a lot. I don't know, but she got a lot, right? <clears throat> and... That was, I don't want to get it wrong, but I think that was the guy that she messed with after her marriage. Because I don't think she was married to him. This ain't the one she's married to. But anyway, that's where that comes from. So this guy, um, they're now saying, is a cloud chaser. Like if you are not doing what everybody else is doing and then you on it on every set, and you but you're not doing nothing but stirring up stuff, stirring up stuff. So, at any rate, he was in jail. Chelsea liked him. They're in a relationship. He needs a place to stay. Now, right there, right there is a no-no. We cannot, I cannot relate with you. But again, she was young. I cannot relate with you and you got nowhere to live. You got too many problems that you got to deal with, right? 
But she being a woman, and that's how women are, we she looked out for him and asked, I guess her and Tasha decided, well, let's ask Storm, can he stay there? That's a stretch. To ask somebody that you are right with, can somebody he don't even know live in his house? That's a no-no. No-no, no-no, no, right? Well, uh, Storm says the reason why he said okay to it was because he was going to be leaving. He had two months left on his lease. The house was going to be empty for two months so he could stay there, right? So that is what happened. So the, the, the young man, uh, Vaughn, come to live with Storm, and then Chelsea brought her things and came too, which was he, Storm said he didn't know that was going to happen, but okay, it happened, right? Now, he said he was going to leave, but he stayed a week longer. I guess whatever his arrangements were, uh, you know, weren't ready or whatever the situation, so he stayed a week longer. Now, he says the whole time they were in there, they argued. Well, let me tell y'all something. Do Vaughn, to me, just listening at the situation, his whole intent was to come and use. He knew he could use uh, Chelsea. He could make Chelsea work and find him somewhere to stay, which is what she did, right? Now, I saw a video of him and her, a clip or something, and he was talking to her crazy, and he was recording it. Now, Tasha says that's what he does. I'll get to that when I get to the Tasha part. We're still on the story part. Um, but... He is a user to me, in my opinion, allegedly, whatever you need, I need to say, right? Um, and uh, so he moves in with Storm, and then she moves in, Chelsea. And Storm said they argued every day. They argued every day. So they, he came in with the bull. Like, if somebody's giving you a place to stay, you should be grateful. That's the first thing you should be, grateful. He should have been grateful to Storm and grateful to Chelsea for finding someone to let him live there that he didn't know. That had no connection to him at all, right? Some, some I wouldn't have did, y'all. I'm still trying not to cuss. But this is a cussing situation, but I'm going to try not to cuss. But anyway, they argued, they argued, they argued. And there was a lot of pettiness going on. Um, you have to look at the Storm video to get all the little details. But there was a lot of pettiness going on, right? Um, uh, there was a lot of pettiness going on. And, um, so then, let me get the story right. Somehow, so they had Thanksgiving or something together, dinner or something together, right? And the guy, Vaughn, started talking about Storm, right? Now, Tasha says that she thought he was taking pictures, but the whole time he was filming. See, why would you need to film? Why would you need to film if it's not for the purpose of some bull, right? Which is what he did. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, Tasha says that, uh, now, Storm explained this, that there was a rumor of a, a OnlyFans with him and Vaughn. He said no, but he told Vaughn, because since you ain't got nothing, you know, you're not making no money, that you should do it because you already had I think he already had new picks or semi-new picks out there in the universe. So he said, since you brave enough to do that, get your OnlyFans, get you some money, get your base up. He was just telling them how to get some money, right? Tasha says that she told him to storm to not do that and not engage and mess up his brand with the guy, Vaughn. Again, Storm says that was never his intention. I don't know. I'm just giving the size of what I hear, right? Now, when I listen to Tasha, I listen to Storm, and Storm, I believe Storm in what he was saying, but um, I don't think he saw the bigger picture, right? And when I'm listening to Tasha, she sees the bigger picture, pick picture meaning this guy was trying to capitalize off of them, Right? And he wasn't bringing up into the table but toxicity. Okay? Um, and Tasha broke it down from her perspective, from a personal perspective, as well as a business perspective, which is always important. I mean, when, you're, when your main line of income is social media, you have to be careful what you put out there, right? And, and who you associate with, which is what Tasha was saying, right? Like I said, I watched both videos from beginning to end, and I think if 
it's a misunderstanding if there is any, right? It's a misunderstanding. Um, Tasha appears to be genuine in this instant, right? That she was looking out for Storm and what she was saying. And that if Storm needs to take a break from social media, fine, do that for mental health, right? And she said she had to implement new rules with her staff as far as interviewing people. Because what it, what it was, she inter the reason how he got in the mix, they interviewed, Tasha interviewed him. Chelsea's a producer. She gets the people and all this stuff. And they interviewed him for another situation, right? I forgot the names of the guys uh, that they he was associated with. But they were guys that... Uh, do stuff sexually, right? So they interviewed him. Chelsea, you know, he... See, guys can tell, especially when you're young, they can tell when they're vulnerable. They can zero in on you. They know how they can, how far they can carry you and so on and so forth. Well, in the midst of him liking her, courting her, whatever, he goes to jail for a few months, right? So he kept the relationship up, of course, like they do, and started uh, selling the dreams, right? Um, and... To me, it seemed like Tasha was being protective, right? How Storm took it, I'm not sure, but Storm seems to be taken aback, you know? And I think that sometimes when you're in a uh, position of learning, you, you don't want nobody to tell you nothing of some kind, right? Or you don't want to hear it, or you can't receive it at that moment, right? I really, 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 y'all, in this case, according to both sides of the story, Storm says he don't have a problem with nobody, just to stepping back from the social media. I really think that it was a mistake. He knows it was a mistake to let some stranger in his house. It caused confusion. And because he said he rose by himself. So when, you, when you're an introvert, because he said that, he's an introverted extrovert or something like that. He said he could only be out for 90 minutes at a time or something like that. When you're introverted, and then you let somebody in, it's a shock to you, right? It's a shock. So it'll be a while, you know, before, and he needs that time for mental health. He needs that time, you know, to stand back, stay back, look at everything, learn, you know, be introspective, right? Um, so the guy Vine is toxic, like I said. And like I said, he had, he was filming um, Chelsea, and she was laying on the bed, he was talking, and he was talking so crazy to her. Like, if that had have been me, I'd have knocked the camera, the phone, all, we'd have been in there tussling, because I'm, I'm looking out for you, and you talking to me like that, he was talking to her crazy and very disrespectful. Very disrespectful, like not appreciative. When people do nice things to you, let's say somebody does, so I'm going to speak about me. If somebody does something nice to me, even if I don't, I stop liking them for whatever reason, which never, don't really happen, um, but I stop liking them or they do something to me, I'm going to always think about the good they did for me. And that's how people are easily, are able to, are able to carry me sometimes because I'm, I'm grateful for what someone has did to me. And so I overlook things, right? And, and you know, maybe most people are like that. I know I'm like that, right? Until it gets to be too much, you know? And uh, he was talking to her. She was looking, she was sitting there poised and relaxed. And he was talking so crazy to her, right? Then I saw his character. Didn't take but a minute or two. I saw his whole character. Saw his whole character, y'all. Um, he appears to be a user and a Klaus ch chaser. And like I said, I didn't know he was the same guy that was involved with the Toya. Uh, Storm says Chelsea is the factor. And maybe he says that because Chelsea is the one who introduced him to Vaughn. But to me, the bigger factor is Vaughn. It's Vaughn. Because um, everything was fine until they included him in the mix. Everything was fine, right? He's the bad apple. Um, so this is a perfect case of when trying to help somebody goes wrong, right? Um, and like I said, I thought, and maybe some of my subscribers thought that Storm was um, stepping away, and he could be, but he didn't say that. Stepping away because of Tasha and this ongoing legal battle she has with Cardi B. But it really it just doesn't appear to have anything to do with it. It has to appear with the... Chelsea and Vaughn and him allowing uh, a strange man to stay in his home and be included in their mix. Like, you have to, new people, when you when you meet, like, I'm a pretty good judge of character, but people will fool you. But when you meet new people, you have to watch them for a while, you know, and, and see how they move, 
See how they move around others. Because they can move with you one way because they know that's how you are. But see how they move around others. And, you know, even as growing up and until this day, I have never been involved with mess. Now, do I have a lot of messy friends? Yes, I do. Do I have a lot of messy associates? Yes, I do. But <clears throat> you have to learn when to speak around those people and how to act around those people. And for me, because I'm so such a free spirit, I don't even like to be around because I like to be me all the time. Right. Um, but again, there are instances where you'll be around these folks and you have to learn how to hold your tub. Period. Because if you don't give them nothing, ain't nothing. If you don't give them nothing, ain't nothing. You know, but toxic people are looking for every opportunity to bring toxicity into the mix. That's how they live. That's how they live. And a lot of people don't want you to be all right. They don't want you to be all right. Right. Um, don't forget to hit the like button for me, guys, and the bell to subscribe. I mean, to get notified. But a lot of times, they don't want to... Um, I, and I don't know what that is. Because if I'm doing bad, I've done been bad in my lifetime. I, when I'm not my best, I'm looking to the people who are doing their best so I can shadow them or follow them or pay attention to them or ask them questions. I'm not trying to make you down like me. Like, that whole thing makes no sense, right? So, um... Like I said, the main, the bad apple in this bunch that caused all this conflict. Because, see, that's what people do. That's what toxic people do. They come and stir up some shit and leave and create the next tornado, right? And so that's what he does. Because it, I remember Latoya was having a whole bunch of conflict revolving around this dude, right? That's what he is. He's a messy mofo. Messy mofo, right? So anyway, y'all, um, I looked into it. Um, and like I said, I, I, you know, I've been given some information to check out the trial with um, uh, Tasha. Like I said, I thought, you know, I kept seeing it run across on the blogs, but I thought it was over because I could have sworn one time she said Kate, she won the case or something or it wasn't no case, you know, and I keep seeing this ongoing, ongoing. And I did not know, and I'll talk about that later this week. I did not know that she spread those, uh, she, I, I don't even know how to say it. Allegedly, she said those things about Cardi B, right? Because, you know, I had to be careful because a lot of people are looking for uh, reasons to um, reasons to harm you or to say or sue you. Or whatever. Like, oh, I don't have no money. I ain't got shit. So I have to be careful what I say. And that might have been the reason why I didn't even pay any of that any attention, right? I don't want to speak on things. It's just too far out there, right? But at uh, any rate, I'll give a light little commentary on it um, uh, one day this week because I'm learning some stuff. I've been giving some other uh, bloggers to watch and, and see they, what they're saying about it. And there's a couple of bloggers that are in the courtroom. I'd like to know how that happened. Um, maybe it's, you know, I don't know. i like to know how that happened. But um, I'm more interested in how they got in the courtroom than what's going on because in my opinion... If she said those things and it was they were untruths, then you was wrong. But I'll get into that later on this week. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching Jackie with Q. Then remember the t-shirts you can pre-order now. I hope to have a meeting with the uh printers in a few days. I hope to have a sample for you. Um, but I think that I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I just think I'm just going to take all the t-shirts at one time because I because you get a you get a good price when you do it in bulk, right? So if I just take one t-shirt, you know they might charge me fifty for fifty. I don't know for it, right? So I'm going to speak with them um, and then I'm going to meet with them. But again, the pre-orders you can pre-order now for your t-shirt. I have white, <clears throat> red, black, and small, medium, large. And the 2X will be in white only, right? Um, and they are $25. So again, you email me and then you cash at me, okay? Email me with your name, your size, your color, your address, all of that stuff. Because I'm going to ship it out. I'm not going to ship it one by one. When I get so many, like let's say 20 or 30, whatever, then I'll ship them out. Another 20, you know, like that. That's how I'll be doing it. But I, I'm, I am going to be shipping them out. So um, I uh, appreciate you guys, right? So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, my email and my cash app is down in the description box as well as all of my social medias. So you can always contact me, okay? So anyway, guys, um, uh, later this week, 
Maybe tomorrow. I don't know because I have to deal with the printers tomorrow. But uh, what's tomorrow? Thursday. Maybe Friday. I will be commentating on the Portia debacle uh, regarding her show and all what she got going on. Uh, and and also be talking about uh, the Tasha K trial. Okay, y'all? So, bye-bye, Jack Squad. Have a good day.